All right, welcome everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about our first assignment, which is called adding loops. So now we are in Soundtrap, we have an account, okay? What we're gonna start off with is you're going to watch a tutorial on YouTube. It's called Loops and Synths. It talks about what a loop is, how to drag it into your timeline, how to manipulate it. So we're gonna watch this video first, and then we're going to come into Soundtrap and start our project, okay? You're always going to receive an assignment sheet, which will look like this, okay? It, it tells you what the assignment is, step-by-step -step procedures, grading criteria. We always want to look at the assignment sheet before we start our project, okay? Now, next, you're always going to receive also an assignment link. Okay, so every single time I create an assignment, I'm going to share an assignment link with you. And you need to click on this assignment link so that the work is shared with me. Once you click on this assignment link, something is going to happen. It's going to pop up your studio, which is the space in which we work. But it's going to have my example of the project in there. Take a look at my example. Make sure that you understand every piece of it so you know how to recreate your own work in that same style and then delete my work and recreate your own. Okay, so I'm just going to enter the studio now and show you how to create this first assignment. It's called adding loops. So we open studio, we click music because that's what we're doing. And here is our studio. Okay, our assignment is that we want to create three tracks by adding loops from the loop library. And we want to arrange the loops so that they play separately. I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, so our loop library is right here on the top right in this purple button. And we're going to click on it. And this is going to bring up many different pre recorded sounds. These are what the loops are. Okay, so if I click on it on the play, I can get an idea of what this loop sounds like. Okay, there are also different types of filters here. So for example, if I want to find piano loops and I click on piano, then it's just going to bring me up piano sounds. Okay, so I think this one is pretty cool and I want to add this into my sound trap timeline. So I'm just going to click it. I'm going to drag it and drop it into my timeline. So here I have my first loop. Okay. I think that sounds pretty cool. I think I'm going to stay with the piano theme. Okay. So I think this one is pretty cool. It's a different sound. So I'm going to again click it, drag it, and drop it into my timeline. So you can see here that there are two steps, right? The very first one is my first track. And when I drop in another loop, it's going to create my second trap, uh, my second track. Okay, now let's do another one. Stick with the piano theme here. Again, drag and drop. So you see that I'm creating them so that they play one after the other. So let's hear what all of these sound together. So there we have it. Now, the very last step is we want to add a, a beat to our music. Okay, so we're going to use the patterns beat maker. If you click on this, it's going to bring up um, this, uh, this screen 
and we have four beats of music. So we have different sounds. We have a kick bass sound, a snare sound, and a hi-hat sound. We can add more or we can change those later, but for now, we're just going to stick with these. So if you click on a square, it's going to create a sound. And you're essentially, you're creating your own drum loop, okay? So I like that sound. So as you see, as I'm clicking on them, I'm getting more sounds. Okay, I like that sound. So I have that sound right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it and then I'm going to loop this loop and change it uh, so that it repeats over and over again to uh, be the whole length of my project. So I'm going to click on this top right corner of the region and I'm just going to drag it. So this is what I'm going to get. So there it is. That's my first project. You're doing two things. First, you're going to watch the Soundtrap tutorial on loops and synths. And then you're going to open up and read the adding loops document. That's your assignment sheet. I'm going to be sharing the assignment link with you. And remember, you need to click on the assignment link before you can uh, share the work with me. Okay, so I'm going to save this and share this as a project. So once you click on your assignment link, this screen is going to pop up and you're going to see my example of your assignment. Okay, simply delete what I have. Okay, and then recreate your own work. Good luck and have fun.